In this episode, we're going to be looking at reversible change. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to define the concept of reversible change, carry out fear tests to demonstrate reversible change, infer that some materials may change from one state to another, identify the process involved when materials change from one state to another, make careful observations of reversible changes, record and explain these using suitable scientific language, and complete at least four of the eight activities at the learning centers. Have you ever had a bar of chocolate in your lunch bag or pan, and when you were ready to eat it, you noticed that it was soft because it had melted? What would you do to, to get it back to, you know, the state it was in before? Perhaps you'd put it in the what? In the fridge. Okay. So engage, get into a group and discuss what you did or could have done when this happened. Explore, access the internet and download videos on reversible changes. Explain. A reversible change is a change that can be undone or reversed. Again, a reversible change is a change that can be undone or reversed. Reversible change is called a physical change because there is no a change in how the substance looks or feels. In this situation, the physical appearance is changed and is easy to reverse to its original state without producing a new substance. A common example is the change from water to ice. The reverse is true. Ice can change into water. It should be noted that only the state of this substance, liquid, changes but not the substance, the water. Examples of reversible changes include melting, freezing, boiling, evaporating and condensing, dissolving, mixing, changing the type of substance. Extend. Make a prediction by completing the statement with A or B. If lemonade is frozen to make ice cubes, the ice cubes dash the limeade by heating. Can change back to limeade by heating or cannot be changed back. Materials. Let's look at this now. Activity one, we need these materials. A mixture of lime, sugar, water, we need glass, ice trays, and the refrigerator. Make a glass of limeade and pour the limeade into an ice tray and place it in the freezer of your refrigerator for an hour. Remove the ice tray and observe the change. Record your observation. Leave the ice tray out for a while and observe the change. So if I left it in the fridge for an hour, I should have ice forming in the tray. And if I take it and leave it out, then this ice should melt and I should get liquid where I once had ice. So I started off with water, it changed to ice, and then it changed to water again. Okay, let's go with activity two. Material, a cube of butter. Make a prediction by stating what changes will take place when a cube of butter is heated and frozen. So it says, place the cube of butter on a saucer. Leave it in the sun for a while. Observe the butter 
to see what will happen, include checking the time it took for the change to take place. Record your observation. Now place the melted butter in the refrigerator for a few minutes. Make an observation and record your observation. So let's go now to evaluation. We need to complete at least four of the eight activities here at the learning centers. Word link for Ellington Center. Find out what happens to salt when it is placed in water. Self link. Make a journal entry expressing your surprise at the results of the activities carried out in this lesson. Music link. The Jimmy Cliff Center. Write song lyrics to the concept of reversible changes. Picture link. Edna Manley Center. Draw diagrams depicting the activities done in this lesson. Use the camera on your cell phone and capture images of each activity. Label each photo before and after. Body link. The Rex Nettleford Center. Get the assistance of your parents and carry out the following activities. Materials needed. Kettle, stove, mirror, glass, transparent container, measuring cylinder. You need to boil some water in the kettle. Observe the steam or water vapor leaving the spout. Take a cool mirror or glass and place it at the water vapor or steam. Place a transparent container below the mirror or glass. Observe what happens on the cool surface of the glass. Observe and record what happens in the transparent container. Number link, Alfred Einstein Center. Use a measuring cylinder to determine the amount of liquid collected in the transparent container. Now repeat the activity with your parents twice more, but change the time that you hold the mirror or glass at the spout. So in this episode, we looked at the concept of reversible change. So something can move from one state to another and then move back to the first state. For example, we could have ice going to water, then under the right conditions could go back to ice again. All right, complete those activities from the learning centers. Take your photographs, record your videos, send them in so that we can compile them and add a part two to this video. Take care. We'll see you in the next episode.